Okay, we're gonna look now at differentiating some harder expressions. I cannot stress this enough. If your expression isn't a sum of x to the power of n terms, simply manipulate it until it is. You cannot differentiate something unless it is a sum of x to the power of n terms. For example, you can't differentiate this by just reducing the powers and pulling the power down and things like that. You have to make sure that it is a sum of x to the n terms. That's the only thing that we know how to differentiate in year one. In year two, we will learn how to differentiate everything. But for now, you can only differentiate things that are like this. I don't know, 4x to the half minus 7x squared plus 13 over 4 x to the power of 7 over 2. You cannot do anything that looks like this right now. You can't do like 7x squared divided by uh, x plus 3. You can't do things like that yet, okay? You can only do things if they are a sum of x to the n terms. So let's have a go. First of all, one of the techniques you can do is you can turn roots into powers. So this one, I'm going to first of all manipulating it so that the root is just a half. Now it's just an x to the n term, so I can differentiate it. The y will become dy by dx. I'm going to multiply by the half. So what I say is I pull the power down, and then I'm going to reduce the power by 1. This is a phrase you probably will hear me saying is I will pull the power down, and then I will reduce the power by 1. That's really what I'm meaning. I'm multiplying by the power, reducing the power by one, but I'm just gonna hear me saying that so many times. So first of all, I need to get it into the right form. Well, this is one over x to the power of a third, which is the same as x to the power of minus a third. So you need to check your index law knowledge. And now I'm gonna differentiate it. So y becomes dy by dx. I'm gonna pull the power down and I'm gonna reduce the power by one. So if you need to, on your calculator, do minus a third minus one, and you will get minus four thirds. This is my next tip. The next thing you can do is you can split the numerator. This only works for the numerator, okay? It doesn't work for the denominator. You can't split the denominator. So let's manipulate this one that we've got here. I'm going to split it so that I can have an x squared over the square root of x. In fact, let's save a bit of time. I'm not going to write the square root of x. I'm going to write x to the power of a half. And I can have 3 over x to the power of a half. So if I rewrite this, um, I can simplify the index numbers that I've got here. Because again, we don't have to do these division things. We only know how to do it if it's a sum of these x to the n terms. Well, 2 minus a half is going to be to the power of 3 over 2. And this is 3 multiplied by x to the minus a half, like this, OK? So now when I differentiate it, I'm going to be concentrating on these things that I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to start off by pulling that power down, which is going to be 3 over 2x. And I'm going to reduce the power by 1. So 3 over 2 minus 1 is a half. Take off two halves. Now I'm going to multiply by the minus a half. So I'm going to do 3 it's going to become minus 3 halves. What I'm actually doing there is I'm doing 3 multiplied by minus a half. That's minus 3 over 2. And I'm going to reduce the power by 1. So be careful. When I'm reducing this power here, I'm going to do minus a half minus 1, which is going to be minus 3 over 2. You can check all these things on a calculator if you need to. I'm just going to simply leave it at that stage. So you can turn the roots into powers. You can split the numerator, but not the denominator. And you can also expand out brackets. So here we can't um, just differentiate this as this one, then this one, because it's not a sum of x to the power of n terms. There's a product in here. There's a multiplication. So to avoid this, we're going to expand out the brackets. So you get x cubed minus 3x squared. Great. I'm happy with this because this thing is now a sum of x to the power of n, a sum of x terms, sorry. So when I differentiate, dy by dx is going to be pull down the power and reduce the power by 1. I'm going to pull down the power, so it's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, and I'm going to reduce the power by 1 and just write it as x there. Number 4, beware of numbers in denominators. The mistake that people do when they rewrite this is they say, great, this is the same as 3x to the minus 1. But it isn't the same as 3x to the minus 1. It's 3x to the minus 1, 
but that's not going to be helpful. I'm going to show you the better way of thinking about this, OK? So if we have y equals 1 over 3x, I think of this in my head as 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over x. So you have a third. 1 over x is x to the minus 1. So if there's a number in the denominator, please don't drag it up to the top. Please don't suddenly say this. It's in the denominator. Why would you suddenly bring it up to the numerator? It doesn't make any sense. Keep it in the denominator like we do here. Now I've got it in that way, I can actually differentiate it. So I'm going to pull that power down. So that's going to be a third multiplied by minus one. In other words, minus a third. And I'm going to reduce that power from minus one to minus two like this. So if you wanted to, you could put that back together. That's going to be a third multiplied by 1 over x squared. So if you wanted to, it's minus 1 over 3x squared. But I'm pretty happy leaving it in this form. So let's put some of that into practice. You can either have a go at doing these yourself, but I'm going to just do three more examples here. So here's one where we're going to need to manipulate the powers. So it's 1 over x to the half, which is the same as x to the minus the half. So now I can differentiate it. So I'm going to write the y becomes dy by dx. I'm going to pull that power down so it becomes minus a half. And I'm going to reduce that power by 1. Minus a half minus 1 is minus 3 over 2. This is an example of splitting the numerator. So I'm going to have a 2 over x squared plus an x cubed over x squared. It's like they've got common denominators, so I can add them, so I can also pull them apart. And so this is going to be 2x to the minus 2 plus x. OK, just think about those bits with the powers simplifying. So now I can differentiate it. So I can say that the y has turned into, y actually turns into dy by dx. This part is now going to be uh, pulling the power down. So 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Reduce that power to minus 1. And we know this is like a 1x here. So I can just say that it's going to just differentiate to 1. You could manipulate this if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. So there's uh, lots of different things going on in this one. First of all, I think I need to simplify some of the indices in the bottom. So that's 1 plus 2x over, well, this is 3x multiplied by x to the power of a half. So you're multiplying those two x's here. That's 1 plus a half in the denominator. I'm talking about this bit here. I'm wanting to simplify that power. So it will be a 1 plus 2x over 3x to the 3 over 2. And now I've got it like this, I'm going to split the numerator. So I get y equals 1 over 3x to the 3 over 2 plus 2x over 3x to the 3 over 2. And this needs some more simplifying. So leave that 3 in the denominator. It's going to be a third and just say it's x to the minus 3 over 2. Leave these bits here, leave it as a 2 third. So it's going to be 2 thirds. I've now got x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 3 over 2. So you subtract them. 1 minus 3 over 2. That one I am going to be, I don't know why my brain just doesn't do that one. 1, one minus 3 over 2 is minus a half. Good. I just wanted to check that in case I wrote down anything that was terribly wrong. And so I'm actually now going to just differentiate it. When you differentiate y, you get dy by dx. So I've got a third. I'm going to pull that power down and I'm going to multiply by minus 3 over 2 and I'm going to reduce the power by 1 so it becomes minus 5 over 2. The next one, I've got the 2 thirds. I'm going to pull the power down, which is the minus a half, and I'm going to reduce that power from minus a half by 1 to minus 3 over 2. So hopefully what you can spot here, a third times minus 3 over 2, the 3s are going to cancel. Again, you could put it in the calculator if you want to. So it's going to be minus a half x to the minus 5 over 2. And hopefully you can spot here that the twos are going to cancel. And so you get minus a third x to the minus 3 over 2. And again, you could write that in different form, but I'm pretty happy leaving that in its index form that we've got there. So the one thing that I hate the most is when people do the numbers and the denominators wrong. So if the three is in the denominator, leave it in the denominator when you're rewriting it. If you've got a two thirds here, don't suddenly change it to a 3 over 2. Leave it as a 2 thirds and just pull those x bits apart to the side. OK, so that's um, quite a tricky exercise because I think there's a lot of things going on here. Um, but that's going to be exercise 12e now to practice differentiating some harder expressions.